What's up everybody, Bubba D's here, and today we're at it again. We're doing another recipe. So we're gonna be doing a pineapple jam. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that little bell, so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. So let's get started with the ingredients. What you're gonna need is one pineapple, one whole lemon, Ginger, now I'm using a uh, minced ginger that comes in the jar. You can use fresh ginger and you can uh, grind it, chop it any way you like. Cornstarch. And uh, regular plain sugar. So the first step in this process is gonna be cutting your pineapple. And you, what you wanna do is you wanna remove the stem or the core of the pineapple. And then you wanna chop your pineapple into small pieces. Now, if you want your jam to be completely smooth with no chunks, you can always uh, puree or blend it. If you want it to be a little bit more chunkier, you can definitely go with a little bit of a larger cut. It's completely up to you. I like it like this. Um, some people also like it extremely refined and they put it in the blender. But it looks like chopped up. That's the size that I'm going with. Now you're gonna put one and a half cups of that chopped pineapple into your melty Instapot or your pressure cooker, whatever you use it. You're gonna need um, one whole juice of one lemon. Make sure you remove the seeds. You're gonna go ahead and put about half a teaspoon of uh, ginger. If you want it to be a little bit more uh, spicier or a little bit more of a ginger taste, you could put a little bit more or you can remove it all together. And you're going to put half a cup of sugar. I'm going to give that a nice little stir, make sure everything's evenly coated. And then from there, you want to go ahead and put your lid directly on to your pressure cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, lid on. Make sure you hit the seal. And we're gonna go ahead and do this for two minutes on high pressure with a quick release. There we go, that's completely all done. We'll open that up, show you what's on on the inside. And there we go. So you wanna put this on saute now for about five to 10 minutes. This is where you're gonna to start to break down the pineapple um, to give it that kind of jammy taste. You're gonna go ahead and mix your cornstarch slurry, which is gonna be two teaspoons of cornstarch with uh, about four tablespoons of water. Give it a good mix and go ahead and pour it directly into your pot. You're gonna be stirring this around for anywhere between five to 10 minutes. Once that's done, you go ahead and remove your pot, put it on a cooling trivet, and you are pretty much done. The jam will start to thicken up. You can start to see it there. It tastes phenomenal. If you've never had pineapple jam, this is a must try. That's what it looks like when it's all said and done. Goes great with toast. Everybody loves it. And most importantly, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and follow my channel. Leave a comment on the bottom with ideas, concepts, things that you wanna see done, and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week and stay tuned for more videos and a new website coming out. Take care, guys.